Hey, so just uh, wanted to make a quick video on how to test a coil to see if your coil's bad. This is my original coil on my 66 Mustang. And I thought I was getting some ignition issues, so I wanted to test this coil, okay? And I wanted to show how this, this occurs. Um, a coil test, it has a, a primary resistance which should be between 1.4 and 1.54 ohms. And then the coil secondary resistance should be 7,600 to 8,800 ohms. So here's how you do the, the primary resistance test, okay? What you're gonna do is um, turn on your multimeter, turn it to the 200 ohms, okay? And to calibrate this, you're gonna touch these two leads together and see how it doesn't go all the way down to zeros. Well, you're gonna to have to subtract that 0.4, okay? So we're gonna subtract 0.4 from our primary resistance here. So. Let's do that test right now. All right. I'm getting 2.0 minus the 0.4. We're at uh, 1.6. Okay. So. 1.6 ohms for the primary resistance test, okay? For the secondary test, the secondary resistance test, what we're gonna do is change it from the 200 setting, we're gonna go to 20K, all right? And we're gonna touch one of these terminals down into the top here. See my reading? 8.6, oh, that's 8,600 ohms. Okay, so we're at 8,600 ohms, and that falls within the secondary resistance window, so we're good there. Okay, it might be a little high on the primary. Um, now that's, that's when it was cold. What you can do is actually take a blow dryer and heat up your coil to about 150 degrees to simulate that it's on the engine. Okay, once you get that hot, you wanna repeat the same tests and make sure you're getting consistent readings. Okay, for the primary, I was getting about the 1.6 ohms, secondary 8,600 ohms, all right? As long as there's not a deviation too great between when this coil is tested cold versus when it's tested warm or hot, uh, your coil should still be good.